Okay. Hi, I'm Laura Marie, and this is the final I did for working art. I used Kims and Cranks to make this subtle movement. So again, I tried my best to hide the mechanisms. So it's inside the bottom. Um, some of them are not used because I changed it <laughs> due, due to my technical problem. If you work in a very small scale, you will have to use some like use chopsticks or smaller tools to help you put all things together. Just keep in mind. Um, for the leg part, it's not attached to it, rather it's on top of this rod. So I made it larger base. So even though legs move a little bit, it will still touch it. If you look at this one, because the base is a bit smaller, it's not moving the leg as much as the other girl. Cool. Do you want to show us the other one? This is a project I did for Animalia class, but I used working art mechanism. So if I move it, all these animals are having a party. For this one, I try to keep it simple. So there's only two lobes. These um, work at the same time. So the important thing is when you use a long um, lever kind of um, base, you need to have this kind of supporting system because it will move. It will move around. Can you spit up? Yeah. But not too tight so it doesn't get like tucked in. And how, how did you make the gears? Uh, for the gears, I used the program Gear Generator. It's um, you can find it in Google. I um, and then I I printed the gears and then glued it on top of the wood and um, drilled each hole over here and then cut cut the um, cut these parts with the scroll saw and then sand it with drill bits. Um, also, when you put handles on, you have to be careful about giving the tension. I had to send a lot of these parts to because it, I put handles a little bit slanted, not like on the right position.